pretty bad. You got it? Mm-hmm. It's coming out of both sides. Now you gotta call the company. Nah. This is the one that wasn't charging very well, right? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't even charging at all. No, it was charging. It would, it would charge. But not like... It wouldn't run like the rest of them. I'm gonna take that out of there or it will look like a fire. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. I'm gonna give an update on our solar setup. We had a, uh, as you can see, we had an issue with a battery. We were powering our well pump and I had turned off all the other batteries except for one. And uh, you can see in the video what happened to that battery. Um, I'm gonna say that the company that I purchased this from right now, we have 13,000 watts of solar panels, which we have to get installed. And then we have 400 amp hours of 48 volt battery capacity. With that battery capacity, if I'm running everything, we've tested it, I'm capable of going two days without charging the batteries at all. So with the solar, we should be all set to power the homestead. So I'm going to go over this a little bit. I'm going to, I got some pictures of when we received the new battery. And uh, I got to say, I'm going to give a little bit of a shout out out to Signature Solar. Signature Solar has been a great company to work with. Um, it's a little bit of a hassle having to ship things all the way back to where they are. We're all the way up in the Pacific Northwest and they're down in Texas down there. But this last issue we had, we had a videotape of it. Um, sent them that videotape and contacted them right away. Immediately, without question, they uh, made arrangements to ship the battery back to them and they replaced it. And we've been since then installed the battery. So I'm gonna open up this cabinet. So with our system came this uh, battery rack storage. Presently we have four 100 amp hour batteries. They're all 48 volt. Um, we replaced this top battery. This is the battery that's in the intro video that has been smoked. So, uh, yeah, let me take you along here. So we have four 100 amp hour batteries. We have two charge verters, one, two. And these are, uh, I got P1, this one set is P1. This is the parent um, charge verter. And this one's P2. So between the two of them, they're pulling power from the 48 volt batteries. And this P2 is set at 120 volts. P1 set at 120 volts, but P2 is 180 degrees out from P1. So the uh, sine wave is mirroring each other, which gives us the 220 power. Uh, right now, so just like in your standard electrical system, we got 120 volts coming in from this charge verter going into our electrical panel. We have 120 volts from this charge verter going into our electrical panel. If you've ever been in an electrical panel, you have two sides. So you go 110, 110, and then when you combine the two, you end up with 220. This is our breaker for our well. And right now we're only running two 20 amp breakers. One goes to the camper and one goes to this electrical outlet we have out in the uh, Connex box. <coughs> Coming in, we have for the generator, I have a 30 amp 
220 plug and we connect our EG4 charge verter. The reason why we have a charge verter is because it's hard. The way we're charging our batteries right now, we're using a generator. And that generator, if it's producing unclean energy, will destroy our batteries. So we have the EG4 charge verter, and that takes our 220 power from our generator and converts it and charges our batteries. It takes three hours if we drain the batteries down a little bit a ways. So that's our solar setup. I'm going to include the pictures of when the equipment came in. I had video. We lost the video. But you can see that the the original battery, um, I did not open the original battery up that was in the video that was smoking. Um, I'm going to assume, I don't believe it, it wasn't the lithium that was smoking. There's electronics in here that control the, the uh, charge level and the discharge of the battery. Um, the battery did work as intended. What's supposed to happen is, is, is if there's an issue with the lithium battery, the computer in the battery shuts the battery down. And that did happen. We lost power. All the power went out. It's in the video. We came out to see what was going on. I thought we might have tripped a breaker. Um, in the end, we damaged a battery. A battery failed. But the battery did shut down as intended. Um, again, we contacted the company. They replaced it right away. And a matter of fact, um, they wanted me to send the original battery back first. And then they were going to replace it after they got the original battery back, the damaged battery back. And it turned out, and I didn't know that they were actually doing it, but they did it. I was able to take the original battery to the shipper and in the same day pick up the replacement battery. So this is the replacement battery. We haven't had any issues since then. Um, yeah, make sure that if you're using this system that you do follow the instructions as it's written. Um, there are videos out there to help you. No shortcuts. I installed this whole system myself.